everyone, welcome back to the Mum's Eye View channel. My name is Rapinda Mundra and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious stuffed sweet potatoes. These are my mum's speciality and a family favourite. They're nutritious, they're very easy to make, they're also very versatile. So if you're a vegetarian you can substitute the chorizo for some red kidney beans, they're great for a party, all in all they're fantastic for this time of year really. So without further ado let's just get straight into it. To get going, what you will need for this are some sweet potatoes, I'm making about four large ones, some spring onions, some creme fraiche, some chorizo and two to three tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce. The first step is really very simple, all I'm doing here is just cutting off the unwanted parts of the potato. It is also at this point where I preheat my oven at 190 degrees, that's about gas mark 5. I then give it a really thorough wash and pat it dry with some kitchen paper. Now you need to take a sharp knife and just prod the potatoes. Once that is all done I just pop it onto a lined baking tray and repeat for all of the potatoes that I have. Then they are ready to bake for about an hour or at least until they are tender all the way through. When our potatoes are in their last 5 minutes of baking, I begin cutting up my chorizo. I chop up the sausage into chunks and then I halve them. About 100 grams of this would be perfect for the amount of potato that we have. I then roughly chop about 6 spring onions. Now you need to put your pan on a high heat and add the chorizo. This will slowly and gently fry and once the fat begins to draw from it, that's when you need to add the onions. Allow the onions to soften and the chorizo to crisp up before turning off the heat. Once the mixture begins cooling, that's when you need to add about 2 tablespoons of creme fraiche and about 3 tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce. Give everything a good mix and set aside in a bowl. Now that the sweet potatoes are cooked, I've just chopped them in half and I begin scooping out the flesh. It's really important not to scoop out all of the filling because you need about a centimetre's thickness around the skin, otherwise it will just fall apart. You need that little bit of potato to hold everything together. I've been adding the flesh of the potato to the bowl in which we have our chorizo and our onion. All you have to do at this point is mash and mix everything really well. Then I just fill my hollow potato skins with the mixture. Finally, you just need to bake these babies for another 10 to 15 minutes and they are done. For that finishing touch, I added a light drizzle of creme fraiche but you don't have to do that, you can go ahead and devour these straight away. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't be shy to give these a go if you can, I promise you won't regret it. Make sure that you're subscribed to Mum's Eye View for lots of fab content. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will be seeing you very soon. Take care, bye! Right, so we've got our two toffee apples here. This one's mum's. No, this one no, is... no, that's mine. No! Turn them around. Mum double mine. dipped hers, so it's like extra thick toffee. It's fine. Right, this is my one. Don't worry, they won't fall off. <laughs> oh! Maybe they will. Okay, mum's gonna customise hers a bit. 